Hey everyone, it's Whitney. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys my favorite look I've been doing lately. I've posted two photos in it on Instagram already. It's super simple and it's kind of angelic to me and really glowy. And a bunch of you said you wanted to see it, so I'm going to show you guys that. First off, what I'm wearing, my headband is from Boohoo. I can't take this off. I love it so much. I need more headbands because I'm obsessed with this. Um, My bodysuit like this cute little cutout is from pretty little thing and these necklaces are from rain plus bow and i cannot take these off i've had them on for weeks now um i think they're so cute i'm obsessed with them they have a beautiful message behind it and i do have a code for you guys it is whitney 10 put it right up here and it gets you 10 percent off i'm obsessed with these like i think they're so cute so i have the Cosmic Wander one and the Not All Eyes Are Evil ones. I'll show you guys up closer. So this one has the evil eye on it. And this one has a planet and some stars. Okay, now let's get into the video. Okay, so I already prepped my skin with a vitamin C serum and moisturizer. But I'm just going to use this little oil sample that I got from Sephora. That I really like um, I just think it makes the skin feel really nice and it's a really light oil like it doesn't feel super super greasy or oily or anything and I really like it and my skin is really red right now because to be honest I was learning a TikTok dance and I was sweating so <laughs> this is a Saint Jane oil it's the luxury beauty serum and has 50 milligrams milligrams of CBD but I'm gonna look up like how much this product actually is because for some reason it seems like it's really expensive <laughs> okay it's so much money one ounce of this one ounce one ounce this is one ounce of this oil is a hundred and twenty five dollars are you kidding me are you kidding of course I like the mini sample. I'm not gonna get it. I can't do that. Okay, so I'm gonna prime with the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer, and this is the perfecting one. I really enjoy this primer a lot. It has been my favorite lately. It just really smooths out the skin and literally gives you a perfect base. I mean, it's the perfecting base, so. So I actually tried to film this yesterday, and I accidentally deleted all the footage <laughs> Okay, for my base, I'm obsessed with this. I recommend it to everybody when they ask me for something lighter coverage, and it is the Lancome Skin Feels Good Hydrating Skin Tint. So amazing. You guys will see when I put it on how good it looks on the skin. Um, this is in the shade 04N Sand. This is the most beautiful base ever. I can't tell you the last time I wore something else. I'm just using a foundation brush. Like instantly, that was like five seconds of blending. Look at the skin. Amazing. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Doll 10 Doll Skin TCE Concealer in the shade Medium. This stuff is amazing. Literally so good. I'm obsessed with it. I tried it for the first time in my last video and ever since I literally Can't stop and I'm gonna blend it out with the blendable from Tati Beauty. I'm obsessed with this little thing I just squeeze it and it fits perfectly and it blends everything out seamlessly. I love it so much I'm sorry that I've been kind of absent lately. Um, I finished school and then I kind of just like needed a break from everything. Um, just because like the last week of school was so much and then I just felt like I was like all over the place and I just needed a break to get back in the swing of things. School can be stressful. So life is stressful. Now I'm going to cream contour with Nude Sticks, Bondi Bay, always. <laughs> okay, now I found my new favorite powder. This stuff is so good. I tried it for the first time yesterday, and I already know it's going to be my favorite. But it's the Bite Beauty 
Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder in the shade Medium 1. I definitely could get like a medium two or whatever the next shade is, but I just use a big fluffy brush and tap this on the face. And using the big fluffy brush makes it just like a light little set, but you could use a more compact brush and get coverage from this. It's a flexible coverage powder, so you gotta use different brushes for whatever you want the outcome to be but look at how beautiful it makes the skin look so smooth now I'm gonna set the under eyes with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder in the shade 2 and then right over that I'm going in with the dragon beauty transformation powders I just mix the two and tap it under the eyes. You guys know I love this stuff. It just gives you a nice little brightening effect and blurs everything. I'm going to apply this lip injection extreme. I always put this on. Moving on to contour, I'm going to go in with Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the shade Caramel Cutie. Then I'm also going to contour my nose. I'm obsessed with contouring my nose lately. I feel like it really brings the whole look together. And obviously you can see that looks absolutely horrendous. And that's when I go in with this brush. What I just tapped under my eyes so there's extra powder. And I just blend it out. Now for bronzer, I'm going in with Hula Caramel. I've been using this so much. I think it's great. It's a very beautiful warm color. And this look is also super, super bronzy. So go ham with bronzer. Ugh. Life is back in my face. Look at that. For this look, I used any color blush. I don't have a preference for this look. Um, it more is just depending on what you're wearing, whatever you want. Today, I'm going to try a new blush. This is the Laura Mercier Strawberry Blush. I have the peach blush from them, but I haven't tried this color, but as you can see, it's beautiful. So, it looks so intense, but this is definitely something you have to build up. Because when I just swatched it, it like comes off very light. Like it's barely there. You know what I mean? Um, which is nice with a bright color because you can totally mess that up sometimes. It's really pretty, as you can see. And this has no glow to it. The peach blush does. It has like gold flecks in there. But this is matte, which is really, really pretty. All right, for brows, I'm gonna go in with what I always go in with, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. And lightly fill in my brows, just add some brow strokes in there, nothing crazy. A tip for when you want your brows fluffy and just very lightly filled in is hold your brow pencil all the way at the bottom because it like forces you to make it lighter because you don't have like a good grip on it, you know what I mean? And just lightly flick it. Now I'm going to set the brows with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter and just push them up a lot, like a lot. <laughs> All right, moving on to the eyes. I just go in with my bronzer that I used on my face and run this through the crease. So again, this is Hula Caramel. And then I just take any random darker brown shade, like literally any random one, and just lightly define the crease with this because the bronzer is just to give it warmth and then this is gonna define it. 
and with this look i don't do anything on the lower lash line to me when you just keep it on the top to me it makes it look more girly and angelic like this look is um rather than glam you know what i mean but you can totally if you're like no i need stuff on my lower lash line like do that do your thing girl okay so now for the lid i go in with something super glittery and sparkly um i forgot to bake my face i'm gonna do that real quick okay now for the eyes i use something super glittery super sparkly there's so many different things you can use and you can use any color i go for more of a champagne -y vibe um you could totally go for more like gold or more pink whatever you want but this stuff is insane and it really just like you guys will see this is the artist couture diamond lights finisher in the shade spotlight glitz beautiful i only have this one like i don't have any other shades from this but i need them because you guys are gonna see how insane this is let me zoom in more so you can really see it but it comes in a little sifter and i put it in the cap and it's like chunky but i put it onto my finger and let me show you um hello look at how insane that is the trick with this look is not making it super precise and like trying to get it to just be on your lid it's like so cute when it gets kind of into your crease just a little bit of the sparkle so that's why this look is so easy there's no there's nothing precise about it and i know this product is obviously expensive but this is one of those things that it's like there's so much in there and because it's so intense you don't need to use that much so like i literally feel like this is going to last me my whole life <laughs> there's like barely any fallout with this which is insane because it's like such a fine little glitter that you think it would get everywhere but it doesn't so a great alternative something that's cheaper is the ColourPop super shock shadows this is in the shade amaze it's different it's not the same it's a little more metallic as you can see this is glittery this is more metallic but it's a great alternative and it's cheap and it's great so okay now i go in with a white eyeliner this is the nyx retractable eyeliner in the shade white this look like you need the white eyeliner you need it i promise it just like puts together the whole thing and gives you really big eyes and i feel like it's what like gives the angelic look i don't know all right now i'm gonna put on mascara this is in the harsh climax like always i seriously have not found a better mascara than this i've tried so many mascaras trust me and then for the bottom lashes i just tap on them just a little I don't want like full mascara on the bottom but just a little to darken them up that's the eyes so easy so simple I'm gonna wipe off this big okay then to set the face for this look I use the MAC fix plus in the gold light so it has the gold shimmer in it and this is makes the whole look and then I tap to make sure there's no weird bubbles the glitters are so fine though like you can barely see them it just gives your face this beautiful radiance okay moving on to lips I'm gonna line my lips with MAC Whirl lip pencil and Fairly overline like I always do. Lip lining just does it for me, dude. Then for lipstick, I use this is my favorite lipstick ever. It's the Too Faced Strip Search lipstick. And I just tap this on. I don't like swipe it on. And then I always gotta go in with a gloss. You can use whatever gloss you want. I'm looking around right now trying to figure out which one I wanna use. <laughs> I'm going to use this gloss from Pat McGrath. It's in the shade Pale Fire Nectar. I got this in like a little set of three.
My gloss is so good. I haven't tried that in so long. I'm like, holy shit. All right, everybody. That is this look. My, I don't even know what to call this. Springy, angelic, glowy, summery, simple. I don't know. There's a bunch of different words for this look. Springy, angelic. No. Um, I don't know, okay? Um, you'll see what the title is. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is my favorite look I've been doing lately. It's super easy, super simple. I've done this before in 10 minutes. It obviously just takes longer when I'm filming. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Comment down below anything else you would like to see from me. And make sure to check out my Instagram. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Shit, this look is cute. Okay. <laughs>